you know, I'm, I'm confident that we're going to see lots of really interesting things happen really quickly. Is there infrastructure that that's, has to exist, or is it all just sitting on everybody's systems? It's all just sitting on everybody's system. I mean, you don't have a server in your your hometown or in Satoshi's hometown where where all this stuff is being stored, right? No, it is completely distributed at the moment. And, I mean, that, that will begin to change as we scale up. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to oversell Bitcoin. As we scale up, there will be um, there will be bumps along the way. I'm completely confident of it. Why? Um, what will what will be bumpy? Uh, well, the, for example, is is the volume of transactions come up? You know, right now I can I can run Bitcoin on my home personal computer and uh, communicate over my DSL line, right. and I get every single Bitcoin transaction that's happening everywhere in the world. You know, as we scale up, that won't be possible anymore. You know, if there are, you know, millions of Bitcoin transactions happening every second, that would be a great problem for Bitcoin to have. It means it's very popular. It's starting to be really trusted. But obviously, I won't be able to run it on my own personal computer. Um, you know, it will take kind of dedicated, you know, fleets of computers with high-speed network interfaces and, uh, you know, that, that kind of a big iron. Uh, it's uh, to to actually do all the transaction processing. Um, now I'm, I'm confident that that will happen and that will evolve. But you know, all of the people right now who are trying to generate bitcoins on their own, own computers and who you like the fact that they can kind of be a self-contained unit, I think they're, they may not, may not be so happy if Bitcoin gets really big and and they can no longer do that. They have to start to trust somebody who is running one of these uh, you know bigger data servers. 